a lot of people have been buying giant pools for their gardens to swim in during the lockdown. Great for cold water and obviously if they want to swim properly in them then there's quite a few considerations to do it properly. So I thought I'd give you more structure and information that's going to help you make your decision on how to tether yourself properly so that you can get the maximum out of the pool. So the first thing that you want to uh, address is the, the depth of the pool. Now, if you've already bought one, and, and the ones that are 75 centimetres seem to be really, really good value, but they are a little bit shallow, you're going to have to adjust the position of your arm and your body roll. So when you come through with your, your stroke and you rotate your shoulder forward, you're going to have to keep a, a, a tighter angle on your elbow to keep the hand away from the, the bottom of the pool. And you could just run it along the bottom to get the most out of it. So that's the way you're going to need to do that. Now, um, the, the ones that are a little bit deeper are a lot more expensive, and you're talking about 75, 80 pounds, and then you jump up to 350 plus pounds for a, a deep one. So that's a decision you're gonna to have to make. Um, if you are thinking about tethering yourself, and that means you can swim stationary position without uh, um, moving forward or back, then the, the key thing is what tether you're gonna use and where are you going to tether it to and, and what's the height of the tether. So I've, I've got a, a, an actual tether that you can buy here and th this is what it looks like. So you've got a, a stretchy cord, um, you've got a piece that you can put, put around whatever it is you're going to go around to, to stop the, the cord from moving and then you've got these velcro straps and this is a, an ankle tether. Now it's got um, velcro for both sides so you put it on both your ankles and in, in my mind this is the best to have. So what I've seen um, a lot of people posting on, on the social media they've been putting tethers around their, their waist and then they've been putting the tether as high as possible. This will have a negative effect of actually pulling you back and up uh, and out the water. So that, that's really negative to actually trying to uh, improve your stroke and, and have a really strong workout. With the, the ankle tether, what you do is you have a really strong kick, which is actually quite important to develop your fitness, um, but also it's going to help you work on things like your ankle flexibility, um, your hip movement when you do the actual correct kick. But Whatever tether you have, you're going to have, find that you're going to have that resistance pulling you backwards. And generally, with a tether, it should be at a horizontal position on the top of the water, and it will tend to pull you back and down a little bit. So you need that strong kick to elevate you, and then you can use your arms. Now that, in my mind, as a, a coach of 30 years open water swimming and, and pool swimming, is the best way to swim. So. Um, if you've got a really poor leg kick, then you need to try and address that at the same time. And it'll be uh, much more productive for you to come out of the lockdown and start swimming. You'll have a, a really good elevated position um, rather than the tether that pulls you up and out. Um, so uh, you, you actually, th these are, uh, you can buy them online. Um, I, I really can't remember how much I paid for this, but um, it'll be more expensive than the cheap um, resistance bands that you can get like this which actually you can get away with and and so this obviously isn't an ankle tether it doesn't go around the the ankle but um, what you would do is you would put your foot through this uh, and then have it like that and then you would you would tie this off so you're actually then only going to have one on a on one ankle um, and actually that that's works and I've, I've used this in the past when I've been on holiday and I've swam in a really short pool um, and I didn't have my, my correct tether with me so um, but the key thing for me is um, this would work really good if you, you actually have a couple of these tied together so you, you, you can just have one on one ankle and then tie it off somewhere behind the pool but try and keep it as level to the water as you can and then you're going to have the maximum workout. So um, that, that is uh, uh, really useful and, and what I'll do is I will 
um, put some links down on where you can find the best pools or what I think are the best value pools and also um, the tethers as well and I'd like to um, give you a little bit of a workout to do so I think you should be thinking about counting your strokes you should be thinking about your your streamlined body position and uh, and obviously then the leg kick as well and and I'm going to put down a, a workout that you can can get ideas from and, and then create your own um, obviously uh, it's not been easy to doing this and I've been quite jealous watching people buying these pools and I just thought um, I've had a, an endless pool for 10 years which I don't have now so um, I'm quite jealous and, I, and I'm hoping that everybody gets the most out of them and that we get through this and uh, get back in the water in the best shape possible.